Have you ever wondered how rich people are able to sustain their wealth? You see, most people tend to think that being rich offers you the financial freedom to spend money on whatever you want. Yet, this is far from the truth. Despite having millions of dollars sitting in their banks, all rich people have one thing in common. They avoid unnecessary spending. Even with loaded pockets, you'll still find wealthy people opting for better deals, living simple lives, and spending their money on necessities instead of wants. In essence, they spend consciously, even if they can afford not to. And in this video, I'm going to take you through the 7 expenses that all rich people avoid. And if you're new to the channel, then hit the subscribe button below for more life-changing content. Expense number 1. Debt Repayments The first expense that all rich people avoid is debt repayment, and this includes any extra costs associated with owing anybody money. And by saying this, I am not insinuating that debt is your biggest financial enemy. Actually, debt is a tool that the wealthy often play with to get richer. This may be the case, but here's another truth. Debtors are not the same. While Jared Kushner can sit pretty with millions of dollars in debt sitting on his head, another person's life is being ruined by student loans and expensive homeownership plans. You see, rich people understand that taking someone's money to make an investment is a risk that can possibly go downhill very fast. Hence, many of them prefer not to take this risk at all. In this regard, the glittering rich rarely explore options like multiple credit cards, car loans, and homeownership plans. Not unless the investment they are eyeing has the potential to outpace their interest rates. I'm simply trying to make you understand that without a proper financial contingency plan, debt repayment is an expense that will cripple your financial life and possibly impede your road to financial freedom. Because here's the thing, just like trouble, toxic debt is very easy to get into and very difficult to get out of. Let's look at college debt for example. How long does it take an average college graduate to repay the average student loan of $26,900? According to the Department of Education, this can spiral upwards to 20 years, which is about 5 times the amount of time one spends in college. At the end of this period, this debt will probably have accumulated a lot of interest, and you'll be paying back way more than you actually borrowed. And this is why rich people avoid debt whenever they can. And if they have to assume debt, they ensure they have a clearly defined repayment strategy. In fact, when it comes to debt and debt repayments, Warren Buffett put it best. If you're smart, you're going to make a lot of money without borrowing. Expense number 2. Designer Brands Moving on, the second expense that most rich people avoid is lavish designer brands. And in this case, I'm talking about exorbitant dress codes and fashion trends that will have the average Joe drowning in toxic debt. Yes, we do need clothes, and nice clothes to be precise, but does this mean one should throw a significant amount of their earnings into expensive designer apparel every month? Probably not. Thing is, rich people aren't necessarily impressed by wearing trending designer sneakers that will probably tear in a few months, and if you don't believe me, we can always refer to Steve Jobs' famous dress code. Many people still fail to understand why Apple's founder always rocked basic jeans, a black sweater, and the same sneakers for years. He walked around in clothes that probably never turned heads, yet he owned one of the most profitable tech giants in history. Rich people know that value will always rank higher than mere price tags, and this is why they are very pragmatic with their expenses. This is why billionaire Bill Gates casually wears a $10 Casio watch to public events, and Michael Bloomberg rocked the same pair of loafers for 10 years. And they are not the only ones. Rich people have a tendency of owning the most basic items, and this is because the more money you make, the more you realize that material stuff will never match up to the deeper, life-changing experiences that money can buy. Come to think of it, why would you spend money on shoes every month when a pair can serve you for a whole year? And besides, if you worked so hard making money, why put in more effort just trying to prove it? Expense number 3. Expensive Real Estate This will probably surprise you, but another expense that rich people decidedly shun is owning multiple expensive and luxurious homes. I know this proclamation counters the lavish homes that celebrities flaunt on social media, but in the real sense, self-made millionaires are overly deliberate when it comes to home ownership. Although they live in luxurious mansions, you'll find that these houses weren't bought at their present values, and even if they were, the values don't inch anywhere close to that individual's net worth. Because here is the thing, buying an expensive house situated in an exclusive neighborhood is a counterproductive approach to wealth accumulation, and for this reason you'll find that the number of millionaires living in houses valued at $300,000 are three times more than those living in houses priced at a million dollars and above. 
If you are economically conscious, you probably know that living in a million dollar house or neighborhood paves the way for an expensive lifestyle, which can potentially compromise savings and wealth accumulation. In order to get their money's worth and to guarantee that the property appreciates over time, rich people will always go for the best deals when buying houses. Thanks to well-calculated investment moves, they will purchase the house at a low price and in a profitable neighborhood, then let its value appreciate over time so they can resell it at huge profits. It comes as no surprise that Warren Buffett has lived in the same house since 1958 and it has almost tripled in terms of its value. Unlike average income earners that often take big loans just to buy a fashionable house, most rich people will tell you that purchasing a house at an exaggerated price is a laughable investment. Expense number 4. TV Entertainment and Video Games If there's another thing you will never find rich people wasting their money on, it's TV and video games. According to experts, millionaires don't spend more than 60 minutes a day in front of a television screen as opposed to the average person who spends roughly 5 to 7 hours a day. Jumbo television packages are an alien concept in most million dollar homes, with most of them opting to pursue meaningful endeavors such as reading impactful books or working on their businesses. Numerous studies also uphold that there is a strong correlation between a household's total income and the TV consumption rate in those respective households. Households with a net worth of less than $25,000 recorded insanely high amounts of TV hours, with richer households, those with a net worth north of $75,000, recording significantly lower TV durations and consequently more life fulfillment. Excessive video games and TV consumption will only sap you of your time, energy, and most importantly, your money. Besides, how do you expect to climb the financial ladder when all you do is lounge around on your couch watching other people become rich? Expense number five, flashy cars and expensive flights. Up until now, you've probably been thinking that besides flying business class, all rich people drive the most luxurious cars. Well, here's a disclaimer. Most of them don't. Wealthy people have been caught numerous times driving basic cars that you and I could easily afford, and even more puzzling, ditching expensive business class tickets to fly economy. When asked why he prefers to drive a basic Acura TSX, which is only priced at around $30,000, part of Mark Zuckerberg's response was that it is safe, comfortable, and not ostentatious. If you ask me, this is the most logical and accurate reasoning when it comes to car ownership. Most people tend to perceive car ownership only at face value, often oblivious of how much it's going to cost them down the road. Owning a flashy car comes with high maintenance costs, increased stress levels, and societal pressure to top it off with classy car accessories, which you can comfortably do without. With all these things in mind, why plunge more than 10% of your assets or income on a car that will start depreciating before you know it? Unlike most individuals who succumb to societal pressure, you shouldn't be surprised to find a millionaire driving around in a cheap or even old car. Actually, a study conducted by Experian Automotives indicates that you are most likely to find 60% of billionaires moving around in Fords, Toyotas, and Hondas. Expense number six, fast food. Another common expense that rich people avoid is frequent overindulgence in fast food. While the average person can't help eating out almost every night, you'll find those rich people opt for more frugal dining options. You would expect a millionaire to walk into a restaurant chain and order lunch for everyone, or even rent out the whole restaurant for themselves. But what if I told you that even rich people make use of discount coupons in order to save on costs, and that they will cause a scene if a restaurant overcharges them simply because they are rich? For some, purchasing groceries is a more viable option compared to eating processed foods in a restaurant. Rich people also tend to align themselves with healthier lifestyles, which makes financially draining junk food a no-no. Expense number seven, costly formal education. Looking into the success stories of most rich people, you'll notice that formal education had very little to do with their financial success. For the record, nearly a third of billionaires are college dropouts, whose dreams surpassed earning a piece of paper packaged as a degree to make it more enticing. I don't mean to discourage anyone from pursuing meaningful formal education, but here's the truth. Formal education or colleges to be more precise work hard to contain our minds in a box. College grooms us for commendable academic success, being praised for it only to end up chained to a desk in the name of employment. Once you set foot into the real world, you are gonna be hit by the grim reality that the piece of paper you spent thousands of dollars on was never a ticket to financial freedom. Most of these rich people never relied on regurgitating content to get rich. 
Instead, most rich people leveled up on tangible investment skills which school will never teach you. So, while college graduates spend almost 20 years of their careers servicing debts, most rich people are usually financially affluent by this time. Even when it comes to their child's education, rich people don't invest in expensive home tutoring services. Instead, they expose their children to more valuable skills, experiences, and opportunities, which in the long run contributes to their wholesome personal development. By doing this, they avoid gripping college debts and average salary jobs that college grooms us for. And there you have it. Rich people are not as extravagant as we think they are. Even with all the money in the world, they still find it important to mind how they spend the money they worked so hard for. And so should everyone else. Thanks for watching. If you want to go from the life you have to the life you deserve, then hit the subscribe button now.